Hey guys, welcome back. Here we are with another Grace Hits album on the channel. I felt this was a decent Grace Hits album as I do enjoy uh, early works from Toby Keith. Today I'll be looking at his Grace Hits album, Grace Hits 2. Now let's go ahead and hop right into it. This is his second Grace Hits album that was released on November 9th. 2000. The compilation album contains singles from Keith's first three albums, which were recorded under DreamWorks, where he worked under from 1999 to 2006, and this also contains five new tracks for the album. Unfortunately, there are no tracks from his eighth studio album, Shockin' Y'all, even though this Grace Hits album was released a year after Shockin' Y'all album has a runtime of about 51 minutes and contains two singles. They are Stays in Mexico and Mikey Bird, which is a cover of the song by Inez and Charlie Fox, and this cover contains vocals from Keith's daughter, Crystal, and uh, the only other guest appearance on this whole Grace Hits album is Willie Nelson, who is on the track, Beer For My Horses. Without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into the tracks. We kick off the album with How You Like Me Now. Honestly, this is one of my favorite tracks. I love its overall sound and production. Uh, I love his vocals throughout as he seems to be very strong. I feel it's an enjoyable track with its lyrics as well as I feel they're about showing off to people who doubt you in the past and didn't think you'd be successful or make it to where you are right now at uh well, for a moment, it is. I feel You Shouldn't Kiss Me Like This is another enjoyable track. I love how this is a slow track. I enjoy the instrumental as well. Lyrically, I feel it's about having feelings for someone, and you're not really sure how to tell them except for trying to kiss them and get to know them uh, a little bit. And, you know, that sort of thing. I feel a lot of us can agree with. I want to talk about me. Here's another track uh, I enjoy. Uh, I feel it has a great chorus. Uh, a memorable one as well. I enjoy the instrumental as well. I feel we all can relate to the lyrics as we all want to try to talk about ourselves every now and then or, you know, as much as possible. And, uh, you know, instead of uh, talk about everyone else, what they enjoy, what they like doing, uh, that sort of thing. And there are many many examples used throughout the song about, you know, uh, some stuff other people like talking about. I feel my list is a great track. I feel it's about spending time with the people you love and enjoy being with. You should do what you can with them while they're still here and see what they're up to. It is important to do things you want, what you enjoy, what you want to do throughout uh, the day, but at the same time, you have to uh, try and see what others are up to as well, and do as much as you can while they're still here. Courtesy of the Red, White, and Blue, the Angry American, uh, I feel is another decent track. Uh, I feel uh, it's about trying to do what you can for uh, the country you live in and try to protect it at all costs. Uh, you know, mainly with the song being about America and uh, we the people want to uh, protect the country, do what we can for 
everyone and uh, try to do well. Here for my horses isn't a bad track either. I love Willie Nelson on this track. I feel both guys do great to uh, make this track seem uh, enjoyable. Now, I'm gonna finish this off with Show of Benny Cowboy, which is the closing track on the album. This is a live version of the track, and I feel it is a decent live performance. I feel uh, overall it has a decent sound quality, and I didn't think the vocals were bad overall. I'd say, uh, for my favorite tracks, I'm gonna have to go with Beer for My Horses with Willie Nelson, Curse of the Red, White, and Blue, The Angry American, How Do You Like Me Now, and I Want to Talk About Me. Today, I'll be giving this album a 4.5 out of 5. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As usual, leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Uh, next week, I'll be looking at the final album. I want to cover that I own on CD. Uh, and I have my reasons why, as this is the last album I'm, I own on CD that I'm going to be covering. And this album is House of Music by Tony, Tony, Tony.